Hey there guys, I am The Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. So today I wanted to do a little reaction to a new trailer, a little cinematic teaser that has uh, been doing the rounds since yesterday. It seems very popular. It is called The Raptor. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but um, as you can see up there, it's called The Raptor. I'm sure some of you have. Apparently I've heard it is very, very good and really cool. So I wanted to uh, just give it a watch and see what I thought and share my uh, my reaction and my thoughts with it. I think based on the thumbnail I've seen, if you have seen the Astartes series, it's not made by the same guy, but it's that kind of similar CGI look and feel, uh, obviously focusing on the Raptors chapter. So let's take a look. I won't blather any further. Let's uh, let's watch this teaser trailer. 100% unofficial. I'll put the link down in the description as well if you want to watch it, but um, I am excited. Music already has got me chills. <laughs> looks very good so far. I love the smoke effects. The fire looks great. Nice little tech marine there. Is that the black carapace? I assume. I don't think we've ever actually seen the black carapace. Like. This is very cool. Like the, 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 the quality is um, incredible. Mark 10 Power Armor Tacitus. He's a Primaris boy. The little details just saying intercessor, you know, uh, really make it. This is very much StarCraft 2 vibes, but that's not a bad thing. That's so cool. Nice, nice. I love the little scratches and the scuffs on it as well. Like it really adds the authenticity of the uh, of the uh, the CGI. Backpack powering up, loving it. Whoa, those are so much bigger than you ever kind of realise they are. That purity seal looks incredibly cool. Oh, that was... This is like 40k at its peak. I love it. That. That was, it's just the, the credits. As I said, I will put the link in the description below so you can go watch it yourself. But oh my goodness, like that was so simple in that it was, I'm sure as some of you will have recognized, that was very much sort of inspired, I think, by the um, StarCraft II cinematic where the, the Terran Marine gets suited up. It was very similar to that, but obviously it had with, with 40K vibes and 40K like equipment and, and gear and look. Um, but it just works so well. I don't think we've ever seen on camera um, a marine being suited up. I just I love the effects. Like tech marine looks so good. Like the the CGI quality is just unreal. The scuffs on the the, the cloak, like the the material looks like material. It doesn't look fake. Um, but yeah, I don't think we've ever seen a marine actually being suited up before. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe in one of the games there has. But I, this is going to be going off 
topic a little bit but one of the things that was um big in sort of like antiquity and sort of the writings and let's follow through to today is sort of the idea of you seeing the hero getting his armor ready getting his weapons ready and suiting up for combat it's a really big narrative sort of um pushing point to get the reader or the audience sort of like really invested in the character and sort of understanding how strong and how awesome they are so I mean that's why people do it today like you see in films characters like get their armor they get their their armor on they get their weapons it's why they did it in starcraft 2 because it shows the marine getting his armor on and getting ready so i'm surprised we hadn't actually seen it in 40k before because as i said it is a big narrative structure that has kind of been around for thousands and thousands of years and this just captures that so so well like just seeing the marine like come in and like stand there and then his armor like get placed on him the shoulder pads come on him getting his gun and then you know showing showing the combat i i, I can't believe how big the the rounds are like he's a big seven eight foot tall guy and these rounds are like big in his hand you know they're 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 chunky they're not just like bullets i think a lot of people in a lot of games portray bolters as just being like assault rifles and they're not they fire such big explosive rounds so they're like the detail and the quality like even just like the, the little incense burners just make it feel so 40k and the little mechanica symbol on the cloth which again looks like cloth jesus i don't know if this guy is going to be doing more but like look at the material there even that looks real you know i don't know what that material is but you know what i mean like when you, it feels like very grainy and 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 kind of um rough on your hand it's just the amount of like detail and background like imagery that he's put in just just to to make it really feel 40k ish is is so good i absolutely love it this is genuinely fantastic um i'm gonna stop blathering in a minute i just wanted to sort of like watch this and kind of tell you what i thought about it this is a genuinely fantastic uh little trailer i don't know if the guy is going to do a whole series like the Astarte series did but I would be absolutely down for that if he did I think the quality of this is incredible like just not just the quality of the CGI as well but like the feel of it it had a really good pace as you saw the guy getting suited up it didn't go too quickly it didn't take too long it got you sort of like you know into it you felt really sort of like involved watching this this uh, intercessor get suited up and then the little teases of action you know they were very very short but like you saw an orc you saw stuff that you recognized you know you saw him firing his bolter it got you invested in the action as well so i think if he does do any more um it's gonna be really really impressive to see i do think that games workshop should try and i know they have been doing some stuff recently but i think games workshop really should be pushing for creators and cgi creators like this and the guy that did astartes you know and reaching out to them and getting some big official stuff done because i know we've always said like in the warhammer community how much we would love like a heresy series or like a series like band of brothers but based in 40k and as much as i would love that i think cgi is probably the better way in terms of doing something so big in scope and so epic with so many different characters and so many planets and all that kind of thing so i do think that cgi is a good way for gw to expand in that direction if they wanted to i don't know if they do but it would you know based on this kind of quality and how well the fans react to things like this and to astartes i think there is a lot of uh of desire for it among the fans so i think games workshop maybe they are looking into it who knows but i do think that if they are then reaching out to these kind of creators really will be in their best interest because people love this kind of work and they love sort of the effort and the the love that fans put into these kind of videos and i think sometimes if you sort of not that i'm saying that if they outsourced it to to sort of other people they would lose that love but i think sometimes fans just know the little bits of details and the little gritty bits of information that they can just throw in that really make the scene come alive that would maybe get missed if, if it was someone that didn't know the lore in the universe as well but anyway i have rambled on for absolutely ages that was a fantastic trailer i loved the music i loved the 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 way it all came together i loved the marine i loved the armor it was just fantastic so as i said I will um, scan complete. I will uh, I will put the link to it down in the description below. So please go and watch it if you uh, if you want to, and let me know in the comments what you thought of it as well. Um, 
and what else you would like to see if this guy does any more i like the short nature of it as well like it's not too long it's only three minutes 16 so it's a good little thing just to watch and get your kind of like um tease you i mean it is a teaser at the end of the day so it gets you excited uh, and leaves you wanting more so anyway that's enough for me i have rambled quite long enough thank you very much for watching please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more warhammer related content from me and please go and subscribe um uh, to this fellow's channel uh, and and show him some love because this is fantastic um until next time though i will catch you later guys